Hey folks, Bronco Bear here. Today we're looking at Napoleon Bonafrog, another awesome TNMT figure. Uh, using some natural lighting again just to mix it up. I really love this figure. Uh, he's just got such a crazy 80s thing going on with his shirt and uh, and his little uh, swim trunks. But uh, before we get into the details of the character, uh, Let's check out his uh, file card. I really like the read-ups on these things. Favorite movie? I was a teenage frog. Longest jump? The Grand Canyon. Weighed 170 pounds after breakfast. Birthplace? Surf Swamp of Okefenokee, Florida. Heh. <laughs> awesome. It says that he's affiliated with the Turtles. But I think in the... I don't know if it was a cartoon or something, but it said something like Punk Frogs. Like, that was his affiliation. I really like how the figure looks because it's totally different than how he appeared on the 1987 uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle series. He just pretty much looked like uh, Genghis Frog. We'll get to that guy someday. Well, that's his file card. really like the read-ups on these. This is the figure. Man. Really like his uh, face sculpt. He looks like a little... little horny toad dude. <laughs> his pupils are blue. He's got these horns all over the place. Looks really, really mad, too. I love his neon green, uh, like little Hawaiian dress shirt thing going on here. The little, uh, you see the, look like flies, like a fly pattern on, on him. Maybe they call these something different in Florida, I'm not really sure. Havana shirts or something? They probably got their own name. I just love how <laughs> it's not like they're tropical flowers, they're just flies. I just really dig that. You can see his, his, uh, what do you call these? Not horns, but just kind of, like, really pointy scales coming out of his shirt. Man, look at the detail, folks. That is just amazing. I know it's a bit shadowy, but, uh, I'm just, ah, uh, so impressed. Like how the, it's, uh, jagged, pointy scales popping right through his sleeves. Really cool. He's got a little neon pink uh, button right there. He's got this really cool little chain. It's gold. Continuing with that neon green uh, paint, but a little peace sign. Look at these awesome trunks. Neon pink and yellow. Sharp scales are poking through those too. 1990 Mirage Studios Playmates Toys. Definitely used, but not in horrible condition. <laughs> Love his sandals. <laughs> Man. Love the neon colors. He's got a dynamic uh, left foot, but it doesn't hinder him too much. I don't think I could really get him to stand well on this uh, on this soft chair. But uh, this figure is really, really great. Just reeks 80s. Yeah, I don't think I could get him to stand on this. But anyway, uh, I, well, I guess his shirt's kind of coming up there. Never really noticed that. That's cool. Really great paint on this guy. I guess let's get to his articulation. His uh, he's got articulation in the head, but his hand moves like this. It's a lot like uh, uh, Genghis Frog, where he just doesn't really do much, and eventually. It will be upside down, so 
<laughs> yeah. Moves out the arms. Moves out the elbows. Uh, okay, he moves out the wrist on his uh, left hand. And go over this cool watch. Oh, it's a turtle head. Oh, man, I never even noticed that. How cool is that? <clears throat> I think it's a turtle head. Yeah, that is cool, man. It's like a little turtle comb. And uh, I guess he's got some chains, uh, chain bracelet thing going on here. Can't really tell. Maybe it's maybe it's like leather or something. It's the only time I'm not maybe crazy about unpainted uh, figures is when I don't know what the detail is. If I know what the detail is, I don't care if it's not painted. But when I just can't tell if it's like you know cloth or leather or chains, I don't know. It's the only time I get frustrated. Let's get to his accessories. Uh, first up is his foot swatter. I'm guessing it's this. Look at the detail on this. I really like the kind of turquoise color they use too for the accessories. But uh, it's kind of futuristic. It's got a little spider web uh, pattern. There are it's kind of like a target finder kind of pattern. It could really go both ways. There's a little uh, fly. Looks like a fly. Maybe a dragonfly, but man, it's really cool. It holds it well enough. It really depends on what hand you use. Let me see. I'm sure you can fit in both, both hands. Looks pretty cool with it. <laughs> oh, man. Well, let's get this out of his hand. There we go. Put this down. Next up is his uh, serpent slasher. This is pretty cool. Little snake head. I hope the guy is still alive. <laughs> I wouldn't like to think this is just a dead snake. Um, boy, I don't really know how to go about this one. I'm just going to kind of put it in this hand and uh, hope for the best. Uh, alright, that's kind of the, mm, I don't know. Kind of a weird accessory. <laughs> I'm just going to go with this. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure how you should hold it. Alright, next up is his uh, sewer gas shield. Danger. Man, this thing's got a really cool sculpt. A little skull and crossbones and all this toxic waste. Sewer gas. Alright. Very nice. I love these shields that they come with, because it just kind of reminds me, you know, like uh, when the Toxic Crusader guys come with these shields too. Just, I love just the idea of grabbing anything near you and just making a shield out of it. it just kind of shows you how strong these guys are, because sometimes they're like uh, manholes, <laughs> you know, like sewer manholes or something, manhole covers, whatever you want to call them. Very, very cool accessory. I'd probably uh, display him with the, what is it called, uh, foot swatter and the sewer gas shield. Very, very cool, man. I'm just, I love this figure. He's just so, so Ninja Turtles looking, you know, just, you could never mistake it for something else. But alright, well, this next thing is not an accessory. It's my favorite thing about the Ninja Turtle figures, or any figure really. A little buddy figure. 
Yep. This is Mutant Fly Freeing. <laughs> Look how cool this guy is. He's got two arm or uh, four arms, and he's just teasing, sticking out his tongue. <laughs> he's got these little shoes on. He's a little kid, a little fly guy. It's one of the few uh, little buddy figures that kind of comes with articulation. Doesn't really do anything, but it's definitely two pieces, which is pretty unique. I can only think of one other uh, little buddy figure that does something like that. Definitely going to get to that figure soon. Love this guy. He's just so fun. He's so crazy looking. Look at his eyes. He's, he looks deranged. Man, I love the turquoise. Beautiful. He's got little bumps all over him. What a little creep. Pointing. Peace sign. <laughs> He's so cool. Well, folks, you know, did you have this figure growing up? Uh, usually I like to look at uh, kind of more obscure uh, turtle figures. I mean, I try my best. This is more of a, you know, classic, uh, earlier turtle figure. Kind of want to start looking at those more. But, yeah, this guy's really, really awesome. Uh, I want to look at, uh, Genghis Frog soon. Uh, oh man, I can't even say who I love more. We'll get to that. Definitely have to look at both of them at the same time, and I'm wondering what you guys care for more. All right, folks. Well, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, take it easy.